As the 2023 Batang Pinoy and Philippine National Games come close to the finish line, officials give an overall assessment of how the operations have been going so far. Rafael Bandairel has the details. An estimated 18,000 young athletes are taking part in the ongoing 2023 Batang Pinoy and Philippine National Games. This year, both events were staged simultaneously. And while it certainly made for a grander experience, the sheer volume of participants brought about challenges to the organizers. According to PSC Commissioner Walter Torres, there's no denying that they encountered challenges along the way. However, he believes the simultaneous staging of the two meets were an overall success. Generally, there are a lot of challenges, no? uh, considering that uh, it's the first time that Batang Pinoy and the Philippine National Paragames uh, were held simultaneously. But uh, it was done because of the, the, the timing of the five international events no, we had this year. So, and uh, the window opportunity really was in December. So, uh, but uh, generally, we could see uh, the participation. Uh, number of participants, 20,000, uh, and uh, the results of the games, uh, maganda naman, no? Despite the hardships, Torres claimed that it was very rewarding to witness the country's young athletes thriving in a big stage. Dati ang atleta, no? So, whenever I see them enjoy, naalala ko yung, yung experience ko as an athlete, no? And uh, I, I feel for them, I'm very happy for them. And uh, I'm uh, looking forward no, to their success. No? And uh, not only going to the Sea Games, Asian Games, or even the Olympics. No? I'm also talking also yung mga discipline yung malaman na yung life skills na sa sabi ko, no? Teamwork, uh, discipline, dis uh, and many others, no? Meanwhile, some tournament directors implemented systems to make sure the games proceed as efficiently as possible. Here's weightlifting tournament director Antonio Agustin Jr. Malaking competition na to. So, kaya ang ginagawa namin, uh, minimi minimize namin yung number of participants per LGU. Ginawa namin two athletes lang per category. So from LGU alone pa lang, meron na silang selection bago nila pinadala dito yung mga artist. So yung mga artist natin na nandito, talagang best, 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 per, ano na yan, best, best lifter, best, oh, best athletes na yan from, from the different LGUs. Overall, officials are happy that Batang Pinoy and PNG went ahead despite the tight schedule. Philippine Dance Sport Federation coach Melvin Jensen Ang is even hoping for a larger event the next time around. First time talaga na, first time namin, uh, especially uh, breaking is now in the Olympics. So it's it's our first year in Philippine National Games. And hopefully by next year, Batang Pinoy will be added to our ano na rin, category. Tomorrow will mark the last day of competitions before the grand closing ceremony at the Rizal Memorial Sports Complex on Friday. Rafael Bandeirel for the Nation.